Hello YouTube, here's the NES video. So I have a Model 1 NES. The big push down style with the... Sorry for this kind of filming, I'm doing it on the floor because I get the best lighting. Audio video, coaxial, channel select, power, all the good stuff, expansion if you had that. And if we would have gotten this system like in Japan, in really good shape, as you can tell, it hasn't yellowed yet or anything. And the reason I made this video separate from the console video was because of... I wanted to show some stuff. So, more common, uh, the zapper. For it, I got two of these. One has, like, orange tape on the end. I love that clicking sound. Makes you feel really good. So that's the zapper. Everyone knows that's only going to much about that. Hold on one second. Um, the NES Max Turbo Controller, which I think is alright. I just, I hate this stupid directional pad thing. It's a really bad idea. I mean, it's a pretty good controller for the fact that it had just turbo. That's turbo button, and maybe it was a little bit smaller back in the day. But this little red thing here that was just supposed to be meant to help push down the buttons, like, more like a joystick, it's really crappy. Considering, too, that it came after what I have to say the one of the best, well, the best add-on for the NES, which was the NES Advantage. This big old thing with its dials to help adjust turbo, turbo button, slow-mo button, start select one to two players, because you have the two-prong. It's, I have to say, the best NES add-on, and I love it. I'm glad I found it the game store like I did. Um, game some. Just besides, and I was going to make this some video to show off favorite game, so. Not a game, but the game genie. For when those times when you can't beat Contra, and you want more than just the 30 lives the Contra code gives you. I don't have the book, but pretty much anywhere online. Um, I don't have many of the sleeves either, unfortunately, for this, so. And this sleeve, I got Tetris 2. It was an interesting idea for them to use this. I just... It's iffy, because it's all color-based. It's not like the original Tetris of blocks. It is blocks, but you have to color match. The Legend of Zelda. Gold cart. And okay condition. It's like that, but it actually plays. One of my friends got one that's in perfect shape that doesn't play, so I'm pretty happy with mine. My copy. Okay, um, Metal Neck. This is a really good game. Like, if you see this, pick it up. It's pretty fun. Made by Jaleco. It pretty much, um, it's the first, like, mech game that I know of that's really fun like this. You pretty much pilot this mech, and you can get out of it and be your person, too, for certain parts of missions. And it's really fun. I'm glad I picked it up. It was, like, a few bucks when I got it at a game store. Um, of course... The three classics. I don't really have to say much about them, but Mario with Duck Hunt, Mario 2, and Mario 3. Great games. They're a lot of fun to play. So if you don't have an NES, or you do have an NES and you don't have those, you need to pick them up. The way I have it. And Rad Racer. My two favorite racing games, because I'm a big racing game person. Rad Racer and Rad Racer 2. Brad Racer is really fun. The 3D feature is weird, but it was innovative for the time. And Brad Racer 2 doesn't have that, but it's still a really good game. And yeah, pick these up if you're into racing games for. And you have an NES. They're really good racing games. That's all for this video. Next up will be the handhelds. Thanks for watching. Bye.